The bus left from Miami Hamilton's parking lot on an early Monday morning with more than 30 people bound for Lancaster, Pennsylvania and a visit to the original Spooky Nook location. The purpose of the Spooky Nook trip was to inform as many circles of influence as we possibly could. So it wasn't just about business. It originally started out to be a business trip, um, but we saw the value of combining um, business entrepreneurs um, with um, community leaders and even religious leaders all on the same bus. The group is made up of people from a vast array of backgrounds, including both large and small business owners, community leaders, pastors from a church, city officials, members of the police department, and more. All from different backgrounds, but all with similar interests in mind. I was curious. So you hear a lot about what's happening, and so I wanted to know for myself what was happening, so then I could be an advocate for change. I wanted to come out here and see if there's a, you know, possibilities that uh, Miami and the Spooky Note could work together uh, in some capacity. Upon arriving, the group was treated to a tour from Spooky Nook owner Sam Byler. The tour included all facets of the complex, covering more than 700,000 square feet. When you walk in, it's huge. Gargantuan. And the place is just massive. But it's not the size of the building that excited the community leaders. It's the anticipated one million annual visitors and the economic boom that they will bring that is everyone figuring out how to be prepared. We're remodeling our remodel. Sherry Hoskins and her husband Mike owners of Pedals and Wicks recently completed an expansion of their business. But after going on the trip, they are already looking to grow even more. And that's kind of what my husband and I took away from that is we need to get ready. We don't need to wait two years from now. We need to get ready uh, now. We talked to a restaurant owner that um, moved in three miles and they expected a 30% increase and they got about a 250% increase in business just because of Spooky Nook. So if we get a fraction of that, we're gonna be real happy, so. Add in a 200,000 square foot convention center as well to create business through the week, and it's obvious that the impact will be felt well beyond the borders of Hamilton. For Butler County, the surrounding cities, the township, Ross Township was with us on this trip. We think it's gonna just be amazing for the whole area. So that's what I would tell people that, you know what, we can be on the forefront of something that's so amazing and powerful that you're leaving a legacy that expands beyond you. And that's what's exciting for it, to me. It was a bonding experience for the people on the trip because even though they were all coming together from very different perspectives, um, I think they bonded in seeing that, you know, we all work together. This is a big win for everyone.